Hello everyone, or oh, welcome to today's video. I know it's been a long time, but before kicking things off, I know this video kind of feels like me doing a subtle flex that I completed the data analyst path on DataQuest, but damn, did it feel good. So if you are new to this channel, I started my data crash journey during the whole coronavirus lockdown which we call Circuit Breaker here in Singapore and I shall not beat about the bush and give you the quick answer for those of you who just want to know how long I took to complete the entire data quest but if you are interested to learn more about my journey and some of my reflection as well as whether I think data quest premium is worth it, do stick around. Okay, so trying to keep this vlog short, I started my data crash journey in the first week of May and completed my last lesson on the third week of October. So doing some calculations, it took me a good six months or so and wow, can I just say, time really flies. But just as a disclaimer, I did embark on some other courses such as LinkedIn Learning, DataCamp and Udacity during this time. So cut me some slack, alright? Now if I discount off the time I spent for the other courses, I'd say the actual duration is actually closer to about 4 months. So for the specifics, I spent about 2-3 to three hours per day of very focused learning. And as for my background, I do work with an agile squad in my day job, so technical jargon is not foreign to me. But as far as coding experience goes, I've only taken one prior course on Python and that was more than a year ago, so I was incredibly rusty. Uh, with not much practice going into this data quest course. What that means is if you have some experience with coding classes or boot camps, plus you can afford more time than me, completing this course in 4 months or so is very viable. But you definitely, and I cannot emphasize this enough, have to focus. It is not going to be easy and the projects are massive time sinks that are going to store you up for long periods of time. But I highly recommend that you go through with them because they are one of some of the most useful parts of the entire course. So with all that said and done, we now come to the final question, possibly the million dollar question for those of you who stay to watch. Is DataQuest Premium worth it? Now the DataQuest Premium usually comes in three packages and considering it would take at most half a year to complete, I would have gone for the basic monthly package but of course that only entitles me to take their data analyst paths. So they have a data analyst path for Python as well as another one for R. But if you want to try out their data engineer or data scientist path, that is only available under their premium package. Now a quick disclaimer here, the data scientist path is really just an extended version of the data analyst path and it will easily take more than half a year. So if you are interested in that, I would think that premium annual is the way to go. Besides, you wouldn't have to rush through the final projects like me in order to meet the deadline. Because that's what I did, especially for my last week, just trying to rush out the last few projects to make sure I got to complete the entire data analyst skill path before my deadline. That being said, being somewhat of a cautious spender myself, I have to be upfront that if you are not absolutely certain on taking on a data science career, please don't rush into subscribing for DataQuest Premium. Recently, DataQuest ran a 50% discount on their premium annual subscription, which actually made the cost rather appealing if you are considering a full-fledged career in data science. Even though I'm not sure if there will be such a steep discount in the future, I feel that this is pretty much like investing. There will always be new opportunities arising in the future. Oh, and speaking of which, if you want a different video on investing, something that I'm also very interested in, do leave it down in the comment section below. And so yeah, that brings us to the end of this final video on DataQuest. Uh, once again, I'm just so pleased that I was able to complete the whole data in this track. It certainly wasn't easy and I think I said this a couple of times in the video but it really requires a lot of focus. So now that I'm done with DataQuest, I finally have time to review other learning platforms related to data science. So please leave me your suggestions below. I'll test as many as I can with all the free trials and give my most earnest feedback. And once again, thank you for watching this video and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. Okay, till the next time, keep learning.